Hey friends, Mikester here, your humble servant, with the First United Methodist Church of Fort Worth weekly update. And right now, we're going to go into a little bit of detail about one of the most important ministries in our church, and that is the Dementia Ministry. So here with me today is my friend, Linda Abel. Hello, Linda. Hi, Mike. So tell, me, tell us about you and your husband, Jim, and how long you've been a part of the church. Okay. Uh, well, I'm married to Jim, and we've been married almost 49 years. Uh, he is a retired United Methodist minister, and um, we have two sons and two daughters-in-law and four granddaughters, so I had to throw that in, too. Nice so that's work. that's really important, too. So Very nice. Well, you've thrown yourself into this, haven't you? I mean, you, you claim that you are retired from nursing, but <laughs> yeah. there's nothing retiring about you right now. It, it has become a rather busy time in my life. Um, I, I did work for about 49 years in nursing and um, was really praying about how should I get involved in ministry at the church? And God just sort of tapped me on the shoulder one Sunday morning, walking down the hallway mm -hmm. in the church and seeing some video cases uh, and, a, and a sign highlighting an event that was going to take place uh, in Tyler mm -hmm. with Tipa Snow. Tipa is a leading dementia educator, one of the most outstanding speakers I've ever heard. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had been acquainted with her work and was using it some in some classes that I teach. And so I was very excited to have the opportunity to drive to Tyler and um, spend some time listening to her. And that just, as I asked some questions about that and visited with uh, Bill Longsworth about getting involved in the dementia ministry, I really just kind of got into it in a big you way. You did, didn't you? <laughs> so it has really uh, developed into something very special oh, and very exciting. It has. Yeah. And it, and it seems like it's not just for our church, it's, it's also for the city of Fort Worth, correct? That's one of the most exciting things that's happened is as we got involved in this and started learning more about dementia and services and programs that are out there and available, I discovered this program called Dementia Friendly America. This is a national initiative to make communities across the United States more dementia friendly and got to visiting with folks uh, providing services here in Fort Worth and we talked about what would it be like if we in Fort Worth could become dementia mm -hmm. friendly. And everyone that I talked to was very excited about it but there wasn't any organization that really had the time to take the lead. And so being retired uh, we, we thought that perhaps First Church <laughs> might become the organization that would take the lead. So we are very excited that we have been able to do that. Um, this is an initiative to develop um, dementia-friendly uh, practices, to dementia, uh, develop dementia friends across the city. Uh, we've already had our big kickoff. Uh, Mayor Price is on board and, and supporting this for us. And so we're in the midst now of doing a lot of education programs that are not just for our church, but for people around the city and encouraging people to learn a little bit about dementia so that they will be more comfortable being around people with dementia. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, in our society, people with dementia often get pushed to the side. And even in the church, we find that as dementia progresses, people tend to self-isolate. They become mm -hmm. less comfortable mm -hmm. and their family members become less comfortable I because bet. we don't know how to relate to them. So if we can learn a little bit about dementia and learn how to be comfortable with people with dementia and learn how to approach them so that we don't trigger some of the behaviors that mm -hmm. sometimes make us shy yeah. off. Yeah. And that's one of the most exciting things about this is that we have Tipa Snow scheduled to be in our church on September 7th. And we are so excited about that. You have to book her a long time in advance, so we're really excited that September is She's now getting deal, closer. She? She's a very big yeah. deal. And so we're hoping to actually fill the sanctuary on that day with people from around Fort Worth who will come to uh, learn a little bit about what's going on in the brain that um, causes some of the stuff that we see with dementia. And how can we learn to really relate to people in ways that maintain their dignity and respect and helping us to remember that this person is dealing with brain failure right. and they need our patience. As Tifa says, we're the ones with the big brains. Their <laughs> brain is dying. And so we're the ones that have to change yeah. to learn how to adapt to the things that are going on with them. So we're very excited to be able to host Tifa Snow for the city of Fort Worth. That's oh, just bet. really exciting. I bet. And it seems like, you know, all the different monthly events that have been happening and mm -hmm. in one sense they're 
they seem to be moving toward TIPA coming in September. And it seems like on an, on another hand, there, there are ways that people are becoming more and more immersed and knowledgeable mm -hmm. and empathetic. Are you hearing things from people about what this has been like for them? We are. It's been real interesting to hear people uh, talk to me about letting me know that they have a family member yeah, uh, who is dealing with dementia and uh, getting a chance to meet some of them uh, on Sunday morning even. So that's mm. very exciting to be able to, to see that we're still friendly enough and they're still comfortable enough to yeah. be with us. And how can we learn to do that mm -hmm. even better so that's exciting and then we're hearing from people uh, who are needing some help in finding where should i go where can i learn more how do i find the services that are available sometimes that's one of the hardest things is for people to know where to go and we have great services available in fort worth but learning where to find them and so that's been an exciting thing. And one of the exciting things is that we've been able to partner with the Alzheimer's Association right. and the Area Agency on right. Aging. As we have taken the lead in Dementia Friendly Fort Worth, we've developed some strategic partnerships. And so we're excited about that. And that's perfect, I think. You know, we, we always say that we want our church to mm -hmm. where it... We're at the center of Fort Worth, and we mm -hmm. want to be a church that reaches out to the community. Mm -hmm. And and this is a perfect way, it seems like, to do that. It is a perfect way. If you think about our mission to love God, yeah. to serve others, and to transform lives, yeah. we can do that if we learn to be dementia-friendly. Right. We are serving others by helping them know that they are still persons of great worth and valuable to God, even though they may have dementia. Mm -hmm and that we can serve them and support their families. And in so doing, we transform the lives of the people who have dementia mm -hmm. and all of their family members and friends. And we actually transform our own lives yeah. because we learn how to serve better. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in the category of transforming lives, <laughs> yes. here's my last question. How has all this transformed your life? I mean, what? What has this been like for you, other than lots of hours lots and a of time. lot of work? <laughs> a lot of work. What has it been like for you inside? It has been, um, it has been so moving to me mm. to, to have prayed for so long uh, for something that I needed to do, and I just yeah. couldn't put my finger on yeah. it. And for God to have just really opened this door yeah. um, has been very moving for me. And... Um, I'm very grateful for the opportunity that uh, has been given to me to do this. Oh, I bet. To find um, that even in retirement, there are places to serve. And even in not being the pastor's wife anymore, that's a mm -hmm. real transition. And so um, that's been real significant for me is to sure. find my place of ministry and service sure. in the church in yeah. a very different way yeah. than it has been in the past. So it's yeah. it's been um it's been moving. I'm very grateful. It's very exciting. Oh, gosh. And it shows. It shows well, in your you. eyes. It shows on your face. Thank and you. for, for Linda, this has been, this has been for, uh, your uh, stepping out from just being that really charming couple that sits <laughs> in the same place yes. in the sanctuary <laughs> during the 11 o'clock worship yes, service, sir. <laughs> surrounded by your friends <laughs> yes. who all sit in the same place mm -hmm. as well. But, That's right. you know, this you're a perfect example that for all of us, I mean, we're called to be disciples of Jesus we and are. to enjoy doing that. Yes. So thank you for doing that. Well, thank you for the opportunity thank to talk about Thank you it. for being here today. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate it. In other news, if you're watching this in the hallway on Sunday, congratulations. It means you made it here on the day of the Cowtown Marathon. If you're watching this uh, online during the week before Sunday, you may still want a reminder of what's going on. So, we've got our incredibly charming, insightful, and he's really in on this Western thing, the Mikester, your Cowtown correspondent. Let's talk about the Cowtown Marathon for a moment. One of the great traditions in Fort Worth, this is the 40th anniversary year. It is the largest event like this in North Texas. We're proud to be a church that's in downtown Fort Worth, which is part of the route for the actual marathon, which is on Sunday, February 25th. You may know this from past experience. You can't get downtown by just taking any route that you normally take on a Sunday morning. I know I'm like you. I'm a creature of habit. I go on autopilot. But this is a time to really come prepared. 
and we want to help you with that. So we have directions that you can find to the church. They're available on our website. They're available in our e-news. They're available in print on Sunday mornings in all of our worship bulletins. Um, if you absolutely can't make it, or if this is more than you really want to try to handle, we certainly get that. And if that's the case, then we invite you to live stream our worship services. You can live stream the gathering. You can live stream 1111. You can live stream the 11 o'clock sanctuary service. Our preference is to see you in person, but we always want you to know that we look forward to you worshiping with us. Thanks, Mikester, for your fine work. Two last reminders. Next week on Thursday, March 1st, we invite you to come to the sanctuary at 7 p.m. The concert that night will feature the SMU Meadows Chorale, and then they're gonna be with two excellent high school choirs from Birdville and Northwest ISDs. Please be with us for that evening. And then the next day, for those of you that look forward to the UMW monthly luncheons, Friday the 2nd is your deadline to get your reservation in. And you'll wanna do that because at that luncheon in March, you'll be able to get your tickets for the annual fundraiser that happens during the month of April. More information about that coming up. That is, it's fun, it's elegant, and what it does for outreach is amazing. And truly, that is all for now. And yes, this has been your moment with Mike.